Can I obtain unlimited fragments or equip multiple fruits or even get a guaranteed Kitsune fruit every single time? These are the most popular Blox Fruits myths submitted by you guys. And today I'm going to be putting them to the test to decide if they are true or busts. Starting with the first myth, I like this one. Giving people good fruits gives better luck. All right, so let's test it out with this Buddha fruit right here. I'm just gonna drop it to this guy, Icy. Here you go, there's the Buddha. And that means I should be able to spin for something better than the Buddha, right? Give away a good fruit, get better luck. Here we go. Yo! It actually worked, I got the leopard, let's go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I got the chop. It, it was the chop. First myth already busted. We're off to a terrible start. All right, the second myth, the fragments and blocks fruits has no limit. So I'm currently sitting on like 460,000 frags, which is a lot, but it's not enough to prove that fragments have no limit. So I'm gonna pass the mic over to Uzoth. And you and his fans are curious about unlimited fragments, huh? Well, I do have 4,230,000, so I guess there is, it is possible to get unlimited. And even I can even get more than that. To prove there's infinite fragments you could potentially get, I brought in a thousand dark beards, and I'm gonna be killing them in one shot. See you on the other side. This is gonna lag a lot. Oh my! Wait, yo, they actually got destroyed. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. But as you can see from my frozen screen, I got in a million more fragments that time. And as you can see, I'm still frozen. So hopefully that proves it to you guys. All right, next up, if you don't move in lava in hot and cold, you won't take damage. But if you move in lava, you will take damage. I mean, that just makes absolutely no sense. But since it's blocks fruits, it actually makes perfect sense. Behind me is 10 gazillion gallons of molten lava and I'm about to jump in. I feel like this is a Mr. Beast video. Um, if I survive, uh, Mr. Beast gives me $500,000. So wish me luck. All I gotta do is not move, right? Easiest 500K I've ever made. All right, we're in the lava. Oh my God, you actually take no damage while you stand still. But wait, what happens once I start walking? Well, there's a physics lesson from Bloxers for you guys. Um, if you're ever beside a volcano when it erupts, just stand still, you'll be perfectly fine. Molten lava myth confirmed. Okay, this next one is pretty hard to believe. The spray mobility skill is faster than light in the green zone bridge. There's nothing faster than the speed of light. Definitely not springs. All right, so I'm assuming when they say spray mobility skill, they mean the F move. Um, you can't just you can't just leave straight forward because you can't even like make it across the bridge. I think what they're trying to say is you just gotta bounce off the sides over here. So all right, here we go. Stay low. Don't fall. Whoa, whoa. Okay, well. That was pretty fast. I never tried that before. Also very fun. But is it as fast as the life flight? Let's find out. All right, I'm about to race uh, Rico here with the awakened life flight. Here's a countdown. Two, one, go. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm unstoppable. Bro, did I actually just beat him? <laughs> That is so fast. Myth confirmed, spring is faster than the speed of light as long as you are in a tunnel with two walls beside it. All right, that was cool. Um, next one is love has infinite range. Uh, just to clarify, I think they mean the second skill, which is the X move. Okay, I got my helpers in the server. One of them is a Buddha, so I could get a bigger hit marker on. And we're gonna try the love fruit. So Cupid zone from all the way back here. So he's got a big hit box. I shouldn't miss. I missed. Guys, I, I completely... How did I miss? Okay, now I got him standing on top of the mansion. I got two targets. <gasps> Yo, it hit! It hit from all the way down here! Let's go! Okay, I'm standing all the way at the edge. Hey, yo, what the... That aim is insane, dude. Okay, hold on. I'm going across the green zone to all the way over here. Yo, it's going, it's going! Bro! Hold on. Wait a minute. We gotta go further. Look at that hitbox right there. Oh, look at that nice, big, juicy hitbox. <laughs> Wait. Did I? I don't think I aimed that. <gasps> I'm about to vomit. That is disgusting. That is so filthy. I'm flying all the way to another island. <laughs> I got my pale scarf on so I could still see them. I could definitely, yeah, I see them clear as day. Bro, there's just no way. There's absolutely no way. Did that go into the ground? 
Excuse me. The luck fruit is the best fruit in the game. I am now standing all the way on top of Winter Castle. I can only see my target um, just based off their uh, hit marker alone. Let's give that a try. Oh my god! Bro! I am not going further to test it out. Unlimited range on the love fruit confirmed. All right, next up, I'm excited. Um, if you use a rocket while doing the factory breach, you will get a Kitsune. Normally, I would call BS, but after the last myth, anything's possible. All right, factory's being breached. Go, 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 go. I got my rocket fruit. I have to use only rocket. There we go. Ah, uh, sick combo. Bro, I don't think there's enough time in this five minutes to do enough damage. I'm barely halfway through. 70k. Wait, why isn't it... Shields activating. That's weird. I haven't seen that before. What's wrong with this factory? I think that's like the only reason why I'm even close right now. This might be possible, boys. Kitsune, here we come. Almost there. Oh, last shot. Here we go. Eh! <laughs> Busted. So next, if you roll a fruit and equip one at the same time, you can hold two fruits at once. I mean, even if this myth was true, it's not going to be very useful, but let's just give it a try anyway. Only problem is, how am I going to equip a fruit and buy one at the same time? How do I do that? I'm going to hit on store and buy at the same time. They're so far away. It's not possible. Unless I just like do it real fast. Here we go. Oh, what the? Oh my god, man. I can't unstore fruit while busy. And now I can't unstore it. And it was... <laughs> Myth busted. Not even gonna bother trying it again. Pretty useless. Let's move on. So this one also has to do with two fruits. So if I eat a physical fruit and equip the perm at the same time, the fruit glitches and you can use another one and have two fruits. If that was true, this would be a much more useful... It, it'd almost be like a glitch, but let's just try that. It'd be pretty easy to find out. I'm gonna just use my cheapest fruit here so I don't have to waste it. So I'm gonna eat this, but as I eat this, I'm gonna equip a permanent fruit, okay? I gotta do this real quick, though. Here's the rocket. Eat his shop. Equip. I have a feeling that's just not gonna work. Myth busted! Okay, the next couple of myths all have to do with transformation for some reason. But uh, the first one up is if you pull out your sword before transforming to T-Rex and transforming into Buddha, you'll have bigger range. So I hit transform and then pull out the sword, right? That's the plan. I'm gonna hit V and 3 real quick. I think I did it. There's no bigger range though. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work, guys. Let me try it with the Buddha fruit. Maybe it'll work with this one. Transform swords. This is just regular range. Yeah, I'm not feeling any extra range on this guy. So unless I'm doing this wrong, this myth has been busted. All right, so this next one, apparently if I switch to the physical smoke fruit right before I transform to the mammoth, I will become invisible. Another one that I find hard to believe, but um, here goes nothing. I'll put them next to each other so it's like easier to switch back and forth. There's the smoke, there's the mammoth. Oh, what the hell? Hey, yo, can I use my skills? No way, bro. I could use my fighting styles? Wait, can I use my swords? Bruh. Hey, no way. I could use fruit, sword, and fighting style. Wait, can I switch to another fruit? Oh my god, what is that? I, I'm just a leg. I'm just a leg, dude. I mean, I'm no longer invisible, but this is way more cursed. Wait, I just turned into a giant. I am legitimately huge. I, just think, I think I just found like four mitts in one try. All right, now what if I switch over to the Buddha? Do I become even bigger? I stay the same size, but I, my head just turns into a yellow block. <laughs> Bruh. <Bro. laughs> wait, 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 wait. Um, some people also said this works for the T-Rex. Let me try. Hold on, let's try that again. Bro, it worked. What? Uh, huh? Okay, that was not what I was hoping. That was not the result I was looking for. <laughs> Guys, um, whatever. Myth confirmed. That is insane. All right, the next one sounds pretty simple. If I just hold out a fruit as an awakened Buddha, I could do split... Sp <laughs> split? Speed glitch while jumping? Okay, let's hold out a Buddha fruit while we're doing this, huh? On awakened Buddha, holding the Buddha. And I was also told I have to have shift lock on and jump sideways. I think that's a little faster. I can only go one way. I can't go left. 
When I go left, I go much slower. But when I go right, it's like double the speed. I mean, it's still not like that fast, but it is faster. So myth confirmed. All right, next up, if you turn into a Buddha and switch your fruit to like mammoth really fast, you might be able to have two transformations. That is simply not possible because in order to switch to the mammoth, you would need to untransform out of the Buddha, equip the mammoth, and wait for the transformation cooldown. So there's, you just can't do it fast. There's no way. Uh, so the only way I can think of doing this is if I transform into the Buddha and try to eat this mammoth, which doesn't work. Or if I'm the currently transformed Buddha and then go over and switch to a permanent mammoth, that also doesn't work. So the only other way I can think of is if I eat this mammoth fruit while I transform into a Buddha. I'm actually gonna waste a mammoth for this, so this better work. Roro Noah Zoko, I'm gonna find you if this fails. Here we go. What the? You must be holding out the fruit to eat it. Wait, what? Okay, let's wait till I get into the eating re animation. No, I can't transform. I can't transform. All right, well, I just wasted a physical mammoth. I'll be seeing you very soon, Zoko. Okay, next one again with the Buddha transformations. <laughs> I don't know. Um, if you transform into a Buddha on Awakened and uh, equip a permanent dough fruit, you will be able to use the dough abilities as Buddha. All right, here we go. On Awakened Buddha, I got to switch over to a perm dough. I don't think it's going to work. Another myth busted. All right, next one. If two people start a raid at the same time, you can fly over to the other person's raid island, but you can't attack the NPCs on the other island. So I got Blaze here in my server. I got the fire raid chip and he's got the ice raid chip. Just kind of cool if you think about it, fire and ice. And uh, we're going to go start our raids at the same time. Here we go. All right, so we're both in a raid now. Um, I just have to clear the first island to decide which way I'm going to go to find his island. It should be in the opposite direction of my next island. Does that make sense? All right, so my next island is going that way. That means I got to go not that way. Let's keep on going this way. We should be able to see him eventually, I think. I know this myth is true because I've done it before, but they shouldn't be that far away. There we go. We made it to the ice raid with three minutes left on my raid. Wait, I can't even see the NPCs? There is Blaze right there. So I did make it, but I guess I can't see any of the NPCs. Not to mention attack them. I, like, I don't even, yeah, I don't even see any of them. Anyway, regardless, I made it to his raid island, and there you go. Myth confirmed. All right, the next one, also raid related. Uh, if I do a raid while using its fruit, uh, Flame as an example, and finish the raid and eat a different fruit at the, um, the Eglis, the Prophet... I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm ignorant. Um, then I could awaken that different fruit. So I'm doing the raid with uh, with Blaze here. We both got the flame fruit. Whoever commented that say, uh, do the raid with the fruit of that raid. So I'm not taking no risks out here. Hell's core. Let's go. Okay, two minutes left on the raid. Now, let's go ahead and eat a, um, I don't know, life fruit and see what happens. Ascension, you cannot talk to this NPC. Is it because I got the light? Okay, um, what about magma? Let's let's eat a magma here. Oh, send me. What about a spider? Nom, 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 Nothing. You guys can't say I didn't try. I tried three different fruits and it didn't work. Now, let's go back to the flame. And all of a sudden, I can talk to this NPC, even though he's taught me everything I know. Um, so, yeah, you can't switch fruits and awaken something else. This is for flame specifically because I did the flame rate. Myth busted! So this next one, um, the time on the clock at the chocolate land changes based on the time of day. I already know this makes no sense at all because time zones exist. My time, it might be different from your time. Okay, this one's gonna be pretty easy to uh, confirm or bust. There's the mirror and there is the clock. It is 4.41 p.m. or a.m. if I know how to read clocks properly, which I actually don't, so I could be completely wrong. It's currently 10.03 p.m. for me. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, there is currently nowhere in the world that is 4.41 p.m. So this clock does not match anything. And I don't even think it ever moves. Myth busted. All right, let's move on to the next one. Uh, when you are trying to find Leviathan and a Terror Shark spawns, you can use the Portal V move and the Terror Shark will despawn. And thanks for telling us the reason. This is so that your boat doesn't take a lot of damage. So a really fast way to get rid of the Terror Shark without having to fight it. Let's go give it a try. Here come a Terror Shark. Where is it? Okay, all right, check it out. Boom. Get in my portal, and it's not in the portal. All right, now, what if we get out of the portal? And it's gone. The terror shark is not here. Myth confirmed. Guys, this is how you can keep your boat alive while you're hunting for the Leviathan. 
Hold on. Let me test this out even further. Would it work for ships and sea beasts? Oh, here's one. Here's one. Rift them up. It does. It works for sea beasts. It works for everything, bro. You literally can just portal them into anything. All right, here comes some boats. Bro, if this works, I swear, bro. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh my God. You could just make everything disappear. Into, it's a freaking dark hole. It's not even the dimensional rift. Myth confirmed. What's next? This is fun. I'm having fun. So uh, if you use the dead step C move and quickly change to another fighting style, you will infinitely spin. Infinitely spin, I think is what they're trying to say. Um, let's give that a try. So we need death step. If I use the C move and switch to another fighting style. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Quick. Okay, now the question is, can I move? I cannot move. I'm stuck like this forever. Let's Beyblade. Uh, fun fact, I actually recently met the creators of Beyblade in Japan. Uh, here's a picture of me with them. Pretty cool. Look, I can jump, but my legs are still kicking. Can I pull out my... <laughs> There's my guitar. Yo, I can use the skills. This is me spinning with the CDK. Holy, that looks sick. What if I spin with the Revolving Ravager? Oh, no, I can't do that. Okay, now I'm just... I'm just standing still. <laughs> this is crazy. I think it's safe to say the myth has been busted uh, because I am no longer spinning, so it doesn't count. Next. Okay, next up. Apparently, upon activating energy core in Cyborg Race, you can one-shot any boat? That's pretty crazy. All right, I got my cyborg race. Let's go in the first sea and find some noobs on boats so we could troll them. This better work. Otherwise, I'm going to end up looking stupid. Um, looks like this boat is empty, but let's just test it out. Here we go. Energy core. Huh? Huh? Wait, let me switch over to magma. Oh, what the? Did I just one-shot it? Okay, I see another boat up here. What's up with all these abandoned boats? Okay, there's a person here. All right, okay, wait, wait. Bro, you can one-shot any boat. That's insane. <laughs> I never knew this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Target acquired. You cannot escape. What the hell, dude? Is it because he's too low level? I think it's because his level is too low. What is going on? This glitch no longer works. Myth status? Yeah. All right, next myth. This is by the same guy. Very specific, so let's read this carefully. After using dragon transformation and sitting in a boat can make it fly. But apparently this only works if you have a dinghy or small boat and have the yellow color of the dragon equipped. First things first, we need the yellow dragon color. All right, here we go. Let's hit our transformation. We got to fly through the yellow ring. Oh, this better not be some racist troll just because I'm Asian. Bright yellow. All right, here we go. So we got to get a dinghy boat. There it is. So should I just like transform and try to sit on it? How am I going to get on this boat? Oh my God. Huh? Oh my god, I'm actually sitting on it! But it's not flying. I could sit in the boat. I'm attached to the- I'm just resting my chin on the top of the boat right now. But it's not flying. It doesn't work for the dinghy boat. Let's try it on another boat. This is pretty small, right? Can I sit on this boat? That's the first question. Yes, I can. I can move it, but it is not flying. Busted, but still pretty cool. I didn't know you could sit on a boat as a dragon, so... Give it credit where it's due. Okay, so if you use the Awaken Magma F and switch to another weapon immediately after pressing F, you get flung. You know I like to get flung around, so I'm trying this for sure. All right, F and switch the weapon. Wait, was that all? That's how, that's how far you get flung? That's like two centimeters. So in this person's defense, he did say you get flung a small distance okay so technically he's right and i expected way too much so myth confirmed this one also has to do with the magma so when using the magma floor from the awakened magma in fountain city with a lot of galley pirates on the edge you will shoot up in the sky better not be like a two centimeter shot up in the sky all right on the edge we're on the edge should i stand literally on whoa what the hell I thought I was the one that was going to get shot up. It's them. Okay, so if I do it right here. Wait, does it do it for every NPC? Okay, so that's just a normal thing. I did not know it does that. But I'm not the one that's shooting up in the sky. So this myth is still not making a lot of sense to me. Unless I'm not sure what edge they're talking about. But um, until I find out, myth is busted. 
All right, next, if you watch the R.I.P. Indra flashback, I'm assuming they're talking about the Indra versus My Game 43 fight scene. And reset while watching the flashback, your POV will be glitched. So of course, we gotta be back at the third seat for that and uh, talk to Aaron here. Okay, now I'm gonna reset. The fight scene has started. It's not working. I mean, I wish that would be cool, right? And the fight scene's over. Wah, wah. What the? Oh, wait a minute. They're talking about this POV. What the hell? Where am I? Wait, I'm over here. No way, dude. I'm watching myself in the third person. Is this what Aaron sees when somebody comes up to her and asks to see the flashback? This is not a pretty sight. I, I feel like I'm playing like a third person game. Okay, pretty cool. If only I could move my camera, take some cinematic shots. That would be dope. What if we get into the rift? Oh my God. Aaron's gone. Everything's blue. All right, my character is back out and... Okay, hold on, hold on. What if I change to another fruit? Like, let's say the Buddha. That's wild. That's pretty crazy. Hey, myth confirmed. <laughs> okay, so the next one. Um, if a person sits on a boat in the driver's seat and I use the Portal X and sit down in a passenger seat, the boat would just randomly teleport. All right, Blaze is gonna sit in the driver's seat and I'm gonna use the X move and sit in the passenger seat. <laughs> Huh? What the hell? It actually worked. Can you move the boat? Yo! He can actually drive it. <laughs> That's crazy. Don't move. Don't move. Wait, 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 wait. All right, we're in. <laughs> but I guess it just kind of teleports towards the island. What if we go somewhere else? All right, so we're now at Turtle Entrance. Blaze is in the driver's seat. Parallel escape. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going, boys? <laughs> Now we could drive around the entire Turtle Island on a boat, dude. That is freaking sick. Yo, this is pretty cool. Okay, myth confirmed. I like this one. I think there's some trolling potential here. So if I flash step out of Temple of Time and jump, I will land in danger level four. Like, do I just flash step out of anywhere? All right, we're currently in the Temple of Time. I do know one place you could uh, flash step out of. Let's get in over here. Get onto the roof. All right, over here. Boom, and we're out. Okay, perfect. See, those are the stairs that leads to the awakening room. You can like try to run towards it, but it'll just like reset you, I think. Wait, doesn't reset me? I can just stay out here? Oh, this is sick. Okay, well, anyway, that is not the myth. The myth is if I jump down from here, the temple of time, I land in danger level four. We free fallen. Oh my god, he, he was right! I guess this is a quick way to get to danger level 4. The only problem is you're not gonna have a boat while you're out here. So, kind of pointless. <laughs> but pretty cool, myth confirmed! Okay, so this next one is so ridiculous, it just might work. If I go to the dealer and click buy on Perm Quake, and when it comes to transaction, then cancel it, then roll for a fruit, I will get a blizzard or around its value. I don't know what around its value means, but a blizzard is worth quite a bit, so I'm happy with that. For that, I need to hop on an alt account where I don't have all the perm fruits. Uh, this is my broke boy account. And let's scroll down over to the quake. I'm just saying, guys, this is not going to work, but if it does, it'll just be by coincidence, okay? Uh, so when it comes to transaction, oh, I cancel it here. I got insufficient funds. Okay, anyway, cancel, cancel, exit, go over here, spin for fruit. I think we're doing exactly what this myth is telling us. And what? Huh? Okay, my brain is actually not braining right now. What? How much is a dough fruit worth? There's the blizzard and the dough is right here. Okay, is that around its value? I mean, it's a lot better, so I can't really complain. Okay, myth confirmed. Everybody's got to try this out. Let me know what you get. Oh my God, we just got this dough. Okay, just to show you guys, I'm not lying this time. This is a droppable dough. I literally just spun for it. This is legit. And just to further show you guys, I didn't get this from somebody else. Look right here. I just spun for fruit. All right, what do you guys think? Coincidence or myth confirmed? And be sure to try this out because I'm curious to what you get. All right, so if you equip Pale Scarf and turn on Instinct, and if you change your accessory while you're in Instinct mode, you can keep the Pale Scarf's 10 times larger Instinct range, but if you turn off the Instinct, your power will be gone. Super long, but let's try it out, because if that myth is confirmed, you could pretty much use the abilities of two accessories, which is pretty cool. Not as cool as two fruits, but pretty cool. Okay, we're in a public server to test this out here. Let me put on my Pale Scarf. Now I should be able to see everybody in the server. Oh, there they are. What the hell? What is that place? Okay, I don't want to know. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to unequip this now. Okay, unequip Pale Scarf. I can still see them. And now I am going to put on the Hunter Cape so I could be much, much faster. Oh, yeah. I do still get the effect. 
that's pretty useful, I guess. Until you turn off observation hockey, then you're pretty much screwed. Now, what if I go to another island? Can I still see everybody? I can! Oh, this is sick! So if I turn it off and on again, now they're gone. Okay, well, myth confirmed. Pretty useful, uh, nice little neat trick, I like it. All right, it's been a fun ride so far, but everything good has to come to an end. We are on our final myth, and it is Blocks Fruits is based off of Naruto. Hmm. Myth confirmed. Thanks for watching, everybody.